Hello guys, Game by Hub here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo DS games on your 3DS off of your SD card. Now, the only things you are going to need are a PC, an SD card, and a 3DS. Your 3DS will need to have custom firmware in order for this to work. So yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. So once you guys are on your computer, you just want to go to your web browser and you want to go to the site in the description. So you just want to scroll down and download the twilightmenu.7zip file. You want to wait for it to download, it won't take long. So once that has downloaded, you just want to open the file. And you also want to open your 3DS's SD card. So now you want to select the NDS and the ROMs folder. And you want to move those to your 3DS's SD card. This process might take a while, so just be patient. Once that has completed, you want to go into the 3DS for custom firmware users, you want to copy the files and move them to the root of your 3DS's SD card. Then you want to do the same for the DSi and 3DS SD card users. You just want to copy the two files and just move them to the root of your 3DS's SD card. And the final thing you need to do is put all of your ROMs in the ROMs folder. So I have another folder that is the same to the SD card one. So I will just copy this folder onto the SD card and replace the other one. So now you can just eject the SD card and you will be good to go. Okay guys, so when you are back on your 3DS, you just want to launch FBI. And after you launched FBI, you want to go into SD and you want to go all the way down until you see the Twilight menu CIA. So just press A and then press install and delete CIA and just click a yes. There we go, now you can press any button. And now you can press the home button to exit FBI. And then you should get a new, uh, a new app, but since I already installed it, I have it right over here. So I'll just launch it. Now you need to choose your console, I will just choose the first one it gives me, so I'll just press A. And I'll press A again. It might take a long time to load, but when you get to this screen, you just want to touch the screen. And now you will get this DS-like interface and now you just want to press the last played game will appear here box. And it will take you into this. So now you just want to find your ROMs folder. And just go into the folder. And now you just want to scroll to NDS and go into the folder and you'll have all of your games here. 
So I will launch new Super Mario Bros right over here just to show you that this works. This creating ROM dump file might take a while, so you just want to wait for it to create that. And after everything has been finished, you will be able to play your game, as you can see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video.